one of the things that we see in Amy's classroom is her setup. She has her MacBook connected to her TV via a dongle and HDMI cable. She has extended her display so that her Zoom can display on her TV and her class kick can display on her MacBook. There is also another PC or laptop which is connected to her projector. This device is used to display in her classroom and on Zoom via her iPad. Let's take a look and see what it looks like in her room. Simple entrance today, okay? So this is a different formula, and that's what I was telling the ladies here in the room, okay? So it's a different formula that we're using. But I, like me, honestly, I think this one's easier and more like simplistic than what we've been doing. Because it's not even a proportion anymore. Okay? So that's how this one's really different. So we're starting with, you'll get into class cake and do practice in this later. Like I said, today you're just going to stick with me. So you should see the camera is spotlighted, so you should be able to see me even up here. So we're looking at simple interest. So to find simple interest, we're going to use this formula. So interest equals percent times rate times time. And I highlighted down here the rate part. Um, so R is the percent of the principal that is paid over a period of time. And I highlighted this because when we talk time, it's usually based on years. So we're going to have to pay attention to that when we do some of these because some of these are going to talk about months. Okay? So, Maddie, I see you writing all of this down, sweetheart. You know you don't have to. You will have this in class cake, too, okay? You can turn the percent to a decimal. How do I turn a percent into a decimal? Anybody? Notice that Amy utilizes wait time as she asks questions, and she tries to involve those students that are both in the classroom and online. Okay, it's always out of 100. So why it's at 100? So if I look at this, I'm going to think of four and a half out of 100. What can I do to make that a decimal? Divide four and a half by 100? Yeah, so do it. Divide four and a half by 100. Amy's Zoom class is projected to her TV. As you can see, she has pinned her video on the left-hand side of the screen. She can see the gallery of all of her students. However, her students are the only ones that are able to see her video because she has pinned that video. That way students are able to follow along from the video that is coming from her iPad. The 4.5% is our rate. And the years here is our time. So they represent the T. So we have to do two equations for this because it wants to know after three years and after five years how much interest you will earn. So if we do our first one, we have I equals the principal is 100 times the rate. You told me this is how I write my rate. Tell me in the chat box what you get. Conversations in the classroom can be heard on the Zoom. However, Amy makes sure that she reinforces those questions or comments from students so that all students are able to hear the conversations that are happening. Thank you. $13.50. So after three years, he's only going to earn $13.50. Okay, say that to me differently, James. Okay, so if you get money per year, then the money from that year would go into the bank account. So you would get more money the next year, right? Okay. Technically, yes. And I know what you're thinking about. So, like, when parent, your parents can go invest, or you can invest, like, put money into what they call a CD at a bank. It can accrue so much interest. So what Jace is saying is he's like, okay, but really I should take the interest they make after a year add it to my total, and then keep going. Because I'm going to continue building on that interest. Okay? Is Jace right in that aspect? Would we keep
keep building on our interests? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Do we? Th do you think we would keep building on the interests if I take what I earn each year and keep adding it back into my balance? I'm gonna use that. I'm, I saw that you used a cylinder dollar instead, and for three years you get seven um, twenty-seven dollars, and for five years you get twenty-five dollars. Okay, so Anna decided, she's like, well, wait a minute, I want to see if they invest more money, what happens? And she just said, if I increase the principal to $200, after three years, it was... As you can see, the classroom allows for all students to easily access the learning that is happening. The students online can easily access Amy's conversation via her iPad, and the students in the classroom can easily interact with Amy as she presents the information on the board. Online students can also interact with students in the classroom and with Amy as both teaching is happening virtually and in the classroom.